And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your We are the last Americans. We are the last Americans. We are the last Americans. Yo, yo, happy Monday. It is Monday, right? I had to think about that actually. It's not, I don't even know what day it is. Well, when it's being recorded, it's Monday, yes. <laughs> and I yeah, just I think said, we just talked about this. <laughs> I just said, I'm not going to say days anymore. Um, so, you know, you get a fucking like, you have this <laughs> habit of like how you do things or like words that like, you say. It's, uncontrollable, just urge just to urge. say the date. Oh my God, dude. Anyways, uh, happy day. Uh, you know, whatever day it is you're listening to oh, this. Oh, happy, happy day. day. Oh, that's right. a good one, man. That's a good one. What's up, dude? Greg, how you doing, man? What is going on? I'm trying to get this freaking uh, Patreon link open. Oh. oh. Okay. But yeah, if everybody wants to join the, the live chats, if you do want to have this uh, on a live day, join the Patreon. You get to uh, Absolutely. talk with us one-on-one. Yeah, you sign up. It, uh, the lives are open for every uh, tier. Yep. So if you want, you can join in, and that's where you can uh, chat with the little community. Yeah, here. Absolutely. I'm seeing Ashley Hobby. Yeah, whiskey. The whiskey in there. shaman. I it's hope good he's stuff, doing man. all right. Yeah, man. It's good stuff. It's actually a good thing. You guys get yeah. a little early. Uh, and yeah, it'll be put out the next day usually. So good stuff, man. It's good stuff. Can I get an amen? Yeah, a couple changes. Amen. You know? I like that. It's a it's a good change. I, I feel like we we kind of talked about it for a couple of weeks now about doing that. And I think it's a positive thing. And I think we're trying to kind of come up with some new ideas, like freshen some shit up. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got some yeah, new thumbnails sure. probably starting up. Oh, and uh if you haven't Make sure you go into our, our link on Instagram and stuff. There's some new shirts up. Oh, yeah. Put a, Dave put, put up a couple some new shirts, shirts, dude. I did. I did. Hell I just, yeah, dude. I'm sick of, yeah, you know, like I just, I was sitting around doing nothing. And I'm like, <laughs> I have like these uh, ideas that I've had that I just have not finished up. So I just threw them up. They're not, you know, they're just, you know, just random shirts, man. I, I think the more the merrier. Yeah. There's options. I'll uh, take some screenshots of them and look for them on our Instagram stories. Dude, I really like the Island Boys one. though. I, I'm That's proud of that one. Funny. It took me yeah. a very long time to do that one. But I will actually... describe what it is. What What is the Island Boys? T-shirt? Uh, it's what's his face? The old wheelchair man. Uh, what is it? Well, Stephen it's Jeffrey Hawkins. Epstein and, and Stephen Jeffrey, Hawking. Right? Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein and Stephen Hawkins. And he's got his foot. It took a while, man. I had to find like a body that had like a leg up had oh, to like yeah. work it all in and. Um, and then it says Island Boys because you know the Island Boys are popular. You know those two freaking weird kids, and I'm like the real Island Boys. Yeah, I'll sh- I'll show it to you guys. The real ones. There we go. And it's cool. It's like tall, so it actually I I actually tried to make it a, a taller piece so that it fits more of the shirt. Because usually sometimes because of the roundness or squareness, like they only go to the top section. This one actually kind of <laughs> yeah. covers the front of the shirt a little bit. Oh, I shit. just I noticed we had a newcomer. No pun intended. Well, maybe pun in, Ooh, was okay. intended, but yeah. Uh, to our chat and the uh, the Patreon here, it's uh, Tom Hanks Cumsock. Oh, nice, dude. That's a great name. Tom God, Hanks Cumsock. There we go. I mean, who doesn't have a Cumsock? And it is know? only just one sock, right? Because he does the one sock yeah. photos all the time. Well, we used to, yeah, we used to have a friend whose brother used to come in, come in socks. Hey, Remember? Really and he nice. just oh, throw yes, him he did. in the bed and you just have one. There's that shirt. There Zoom in on that, dude. Yeah. I want to see that in detail. I, you know, I opted to keep it very simple. I didn't want to add a bunch of... Uh, Dude, it's very Beavis and Butthead. It I is. Love it is. It's so good. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I, love it. I really wanted to keep it like <laughs> thick lines. Uh, no, like a lot of shading on the face. Not a lot of shading on the clothes. <laughs> um, I yeah. did spend way too long on his uh, his little scooter mobile. You know what I'm saying? Like I was oh. like... Cause it's, it, because <laughs> wheelchair? I was looking at the pictures, right, of him, and it's so black. You know what I'm saying? Like his chair is all black. And I'm like, it just doesn't look right to have black on black on black on black you know what i mean like it, you couldn't get yeah. any definition so i had to like make some shit up but well dude there. i just listened to another like clip on uh joe, of joe rogan zooming on his face and they were bro. talking it's about nice. uh stephen hawking going to the island and they're like why the hell would you want to go to the island but i guess he could feel but he just couldn't mm. move oh ah. so he could still yeah. feel everything that was being done to him and i'm like okay, okay that makes a little bit more sense man how rough though like you feel the gasm coming but you can't react to the gasm <laughs> Like inside your like, how how would that how would you not really be able matter? to react to it? You'd react. He'd make noise for sure. I don't know. He what well, was he? Rat, 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 rat. He could moan. I don't know if he. I don't know if he could do. He much can make. He could make sounds. Yeah, but yeah. I think he ma- just, I, 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 just listen. Like, I think there's a point. Oh. I mean, no disrespect. Oh boy! Yeah, oh. that's eyes closed and everything. 
Chris, you're getting a little too good at this. <laughs> he's, been, he's been practicing this shit. <laughs> you, you've been practicing oh in the mirror, God. bro. Oh. There is a point, though, that you recognize yeah. your sounds, and then you could also recognize that they are a turnoff. So, like, mm. he might have gone, like, yeah, my, my point, drooling and moaning is... I mean, if you're an island boy, yeah, you don't care if it's a turnoff for anybody else. Well, they're getting paid, so they don't care. It's true. You know what I'm saying? They well, I mean, sure, care. they care. They're not getting paid. It's just weird. They're that, getting like, blackmailed to do things. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, well, I you mean, know it is. Yeah, it. well, yeah, that's true. They were traffic for most of them. But <laughs> anyway, so listen, I, I thought that was a fun shirt. Um, I also oh, there have, was a, yeah, there was a couple of them. Yeah, I have a, I have like this alien one that it's kind of like a ghoulish alien style thing that I, I and that, the moon one. I thought the moon one was just pretty, yeah, the pretty moon simple, one, dude. That's that's freaking solid right there, dude. Super simple. Uh, three, you know, astronauts got the uh, what Saturn or whatever behind it yeah. or Jupiter. I don't even know the fucking names, but. Regardless, um, yeah, it's just a simple shirt, and this one's kind of more just like a, uh, this kind of like a metal inspired, you know. Oh, yeah. Everybody aliens. get on, get on the IG Last America's podcast. Check it out. Yeah. Go buy it. Yeah, man. Support the show. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Um, so to start out today, like I just wanted to get this like story out of the way because this is like stupid. <laughs> like I agree, Dave. Like yeah. this is a stupid story, but. I know that people are sharing it around thinking like, oh, my God, is Trump going to be assassinated or something? Like, is this a threat? Yeah. Alex Soros, he's tweeting out images of a bullet hole next to forty seven dollars. <gasps> yeah. What do I, you guys uh, think? Is this a threat? Yeah, that's right. I, I, we, I was talking to Chris and we were kind of going through when I got here about like some ideas for the show. And uh, this one obviously circulating. Like you said, people are. The one thing that bothers me, listen, I don't like Alex Soros. I don't like George. So I don't think anybody does. I mean, let's yeah. be real. Like, unless you're in yeah. the elite like, class. Like, why would you? What do they do? I, I don't know. But so me saying this, and I'm sure I'm speaking for you as well. Me saying this is not some endorsement for Alex Soros or George Soros. They're piles of shit in the world. But I do feel like there's a point where you can take shit out of context a little bit. And I don't, what was it? The Gateway Pundit put out uh, a tweet oh, yeah. and they're like, well, it was their, their article about this. As well. Yeah. And, yeah, and, it, was and it was just article. like this. It was like a guarantee. Like this is a yeah. clear threat. To, and I'm like, is it a clear yeah. threat? Yeah. Right. Yeah. A direct, well, not only that, they said, but you uh, have general, well, you have general Michael Flynn, right? And we all know he's a Q. Uh, nah, 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 oh, sure. So. He's, he's a, he says, what the hell is the message you're sending by posting a bullet hole next to $47? And the article is filled with total bullshit. What's this say, so I, Chris? What's this say? What's the actual Gateway Pundit say? Uh, the Gateway Pundit says, Alex Soros tweet out bullet hole in 47, a direct violent threat to Donald Trump. So, listen, Oh, my God. Here's my, here's my issue with it. I only, no question. Yeah, it's no question. Right. And, and to me, that's a problem because I, what they should have said is it seems like an, uh, seems like a threat or could be a threat. Um, yeah. It needs to be investigated more. Um, but see, I saw the pictures circulating. I'm sure you did as well, but I never read the tweet uh, until we got here. And yeah. I asked Chris, he said, oh, there's a tweet to it. And I, he's like, uh, right? well, he read it. And I was like, what was the tweet? And he, he basically said, crime is rising. Um, inflation oh, yeah. is rising. And I'm like, well. Crime, bullet hole, that's well, kind of like the... It says it, it says it in the article right here. Um, so Alex Soros, everybody, tweeted out this picture with a bullet hole and next to $47, right? Yeah. And he says, last year, the crime and inflation crisis largely evaporated. So did the leading theories about what had caused them. Yeah. So it's an actual... I think it links to an article from the Atlantic.com. Yeah. Right? So he's saying so it's decreasing. I, but it's like, why $47? Why the bullet hole? Dude. So if people are thinking, you know, is Trump going to be the 47th president? And yeah. you're sending a clear message that you want something bad to happen. To I don't think you're wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think Chris is wrong. I don't think anybody's wrong in this one. Like, yes, you could put those numbers together and that's what your conclusion can be. And you're not wrong for thinking it, right? It's coincidental or not coincidental that those numbers come up, right? But I, I was telling Chris, because I do obviously... And Chris does as well. And you do too. Like I pull stuff from Google for like, especially our old thumbnails, like finding images, uh, you know, try to find things to fit in certain pieces. And it's like, I've never like, if I'm like pulling up, if we're doing something about money or, or finance, I just pull up money, like a photo of money. Right. Like I'm not yeah. sitting there counting it, making sure that it doesn't mean something. It, it's like a wad of cash. You know what I'm saying? And it represents what I'm talking about. It's a person holding out money and the bullet hole. I mean, every time you watch the late night evening news and you see like crime report, it shows a handgun and a fucking bullet hole. Like it's the mm -hmm. it's like the generic sign of like crime. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So like I just I don't 
I'm not. It, it can yeah. be taken both ways. It can be, but sure. I, well, I'm just. It's and, not that. But shocking. I don't know if it's like that. Money is not like just an average shot of money. It though. is like it is kind of weird because forty seven bucks, you know, like spread out like that. I've never seen a stock photo like that. Maybe it exists. I don't Dude, know. I, but it is it is kind of odd. And, and the other thing I told Chris was, is we don't know who the 47th president is going to be yet. I mean, we, right? we could argue that we think Trump's going to win, but we were wrong in, in the, you know, the last election. Let's be real. If, if they would have said, uh, if there was some like calm or something he was sending out, like why would it say the 45, right? We all know who the 45th is. Right. Yeah, exactly. it's, a, it's an obvious choice. Right. So if you had a bullet hole in a forty five dollars worth of cash in the hand, then you'd be like, dude, that, dude. that's Trump's number. Right. So yeah. I, I, to Chris's point, he was saying, well, maybe they do know who's going to win. That's true. Maybe they do. Yeah. But it's like if you were really sending out like a threat, like you don't you're not going to put a number out that we don't even know who that is. You know, what I'm dude, saying? I had a theory. I was thinking, like, what if the bullet hole was to make forty seven? So like the forty seventh would be a transitional president so the bullet was really for you know biden or something right that's what they're trying to say here it's like hey it's time to uh put the old dog down and then uh have a transitional 47th president for just a little bit until the election happens i don't know that was my theory uh you know listen I don't, like like i said before i don't think you're wrong I, I, there is no wrong or right to this like it's however exactly. you interpret it that's yeah. just what it is but i certainly am the kind of person that's not looking at this as like listen he's scummy as fuck but i don't know i feel like there's much better more clarified ways to say this without having leaving room for speculation exactly. and i don't like that major you know gateway pundit which i'm not a huge fan of them anyways but i don't like that they're just coming out being like this is a direct threat like what do you, like you don't always know do that dude. i know but you don't That's know like that shit thing. but see the problem is is that riles up a lot of people right instead sure. of them just saying hey listen this is what he tweeted what do you guys think this is let people talk about it. Let people get their, uh, you know, get their feelings out. out of, but I just, I don't think that's good on either side. I don't think that direct, like, this yeah. is what it is, is good. It's just not good. Well, dude, and I, I was actually just listening to Anomaly, and he was saying, like, um, the right side of, of politics, you know, uh, flamboyantly mm. sparks these things when they don't need to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're sharing these, like, um, articles and all this thing when... You know, it it doesn't have to be news. Like no. us sharing it makes us news. And maybe maybe it was a different podcast I was listening to, but I'm just saying. But I agree with you. Like the fact that like I didn't want to bring this to the table as being like, you guys look at this. Yeah. Like what, this is a clear threat, bro. Like yeah. I wanted to bring this to be like, you guys, we need to slow the roll on these types of articles, and this type of thinking makes it look like we're paranoid. It, a little I, bit. And I told Chris too. Know. We were talking. I was like, one of my big things with it is the Soros have so much dirt that we can recognize right now. It's the same with Clinton's, right? Like there's obvious corruption that we can all point. That's not like left in the wind. You know what I'm saying? Like we can see where George Soros has done things that are bad for humans, bad for mm. the country, right? Like going after like things like this that are completely speculative really only hurts the kind of like going after Soros and getting him out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause we're getting makes, sidetracked yeah. with stuff that we are not going to win. You're not going to win this. There's no well, it makes proof. him a victim. It makes George Soros a victim of uh, this is straight up theory, yeah. like conspiracy theory type of thing. You know what I mean? With no real umph to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So anyway, I just wanted to bring this up just to kind of clear the waters on this, just to be like, you know, this is a little uh, fluffy. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's, I, I don't know which way to go on it. I just think there's too little yet. And it's too early to say it's a definite for me. Um, but yeah. I also don't blame people that, think that it is you know what i'm saying like because you can look at it that way absolutely well yeah because we'll I see mean, what happens they definitely have gone gone above and beyond to try to get rid of him already i mean and even tucker carlson came out and said it and like you realize the next thing is assassination well, yeah. I, I know but here's here uh, this is so i mean i think that's where people are, are getting that lead on from it i certainly think that the the there's a lot of people in high power that would love to take out donald trump oh yeah we can agree on that right my thing is, mm -hmm. is these people aren't stupid people and they're certainly not going to put out public comms. So everybody, when it happens, they can pinpoint Alex Soros. Like <laughs> exactly. they're going to do it secretively and not, you won't even know what hit it. And then that way their, their fucking hands are clean. Supposedly. Well, not only True. that, but True. like 
it would have happened already. Well, like if they would have, if they're capable of doing this, they would have done it already. So they could, they I mean, might have tried. He's around for. I don't know. I don't think they would have done already. I think. I think that kind of thing would end up being like a last resort. I don't know, dude. I, I think there's an opportunity for because the, they have. because I think if they would have done it already. I mean, we, when you grab at that straw, now now you're at the point where you're like, it, you you don't even really care about the optics of the situation if people like immediately know this is what happened. I think, if, it, I think they, they, they would have done the optics. No, I well, think that works. Like, Jeffrey think, Epstein, like no, this, think, his uh, whole things were out, like his, his cameras yeah. were out, the security guards fell asleep. Like they don't care. They're selling you that story. Dude, I think and it they looks don't give a shit. Worse yeah, but who did it? Than before. You still don't know who did it though. I know. Exactly. But it looks but at worse. that point you, can, you really would. It looks worse now. What do you mean? What we, does? If if that was to happen and Trump gets assassinated, then mm-hmm. they would know. They know who to look at. That would be the first fucking su- the suspect. Alex. Right now, Alex with, Soros? with your Jeffrey Epstein thing, like there is no suspect. If it if there was, that's what I'm saying though. That was the, yeah. The that's what we're saying. I, I'm saying yeah. I'm saying the same thing that Dave's saying. Like, no, no one, They wouldn't just come out and say it. Like that, they that's would, why I'm they would. Saying, that's why I'm like if saying they shot they Trump, have... they would blame it on a different country or something. They'd blame it on like something to, I mean, you, you never let a crisis go to waste. Right. So they would like use the opportunity to either start another war, start something division in the, the country. I'm just know. surprised they haven't done it. I don't it know already. if they do that. They would probably just pin it on some random fucking person and say this person hated Trump. That's an easy fucking out. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah. But my thing is, is the longer they wait, like the the more suspicious it becomes, I I feel like if to Greg's point they would have tried it, maybe they did, but like early on people hated him so much, right? Like it wouldn't have been that crazy. We talked about it. How many times we're saying like, man, I'm shocked that no one's attempted because they hate him so much. And at this point, with all the indictments, all the court, and him trying to get held off ballots, like him being even an attempted assassination on him now. Oh, do you think it would be all? I mean, people would be like, this is clear that this is the government doing this. Like, right? There is like it's so obvious, yeah. right? So, but there's nothing you can do to prove it. And that's the same yeah. thing with JFK It's the same thing that happened with all these other people that just kind of like jump off buildings that kind of mysteriously die. Helicopter crashes, mm. drowning. Yeah. Like, like I just, I find it very suspicious that Trump is still alive. Yeah. I'm just, I don't know because if you are this quote deep state and Trump is going to take you all down, why is he still alive? I think like, there's more I to still it. don't no, understand. I, I think I, I to, if I'm going to argue that case, I would say that, listen, when, when, when uh, the Kennedy was assassinated, for example, like people were in mourning, right? Like they were upset. They didn't do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Like at the time, I don't, it was weird, but we remember there was, if you watch Forrest Gump, man, there was a lot of attempts of assassination throughout the, the 60s, oh, 70s, yeah. 80s, right? Like it was not uncommon but it wasn't common either like it was just kind of it happens right well and i do want to say something real quick i'm not like so naive that i don't think assassination attempts happen and like they're not like they're just not disclosed all the time you know what i mean yeah well but yeah go go, no i'm just saying I, i feel like the one difference is um is that his base is different that's what i think the difference is now but i'm just saying like in the beginning in the beginning Dude, Trump so had in the a, beginning, when when like he wasn't as big as he is now, like he's super big now, dude. Like compared to where he was, like I feel like they could have gotten away with it. Like you were saying, like people did hate him. Like the the uproar was just fresh. I, I feel see, like I, see, I disagree, man. I think that it's very like, his base is his base. I think if he was a, a, that's why he won was the movement that he created. Like the people were like behind him no matter what. They, they were in, in 2016. They were behind him no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like the Trump yeah, movement. I don't, I just, I think it's arguable that he's like much bigger now than what he was back then no, because I now he, he has gone through it. I think he's he gained other. Now. Yeah. Right. He's, he's much bigger now. I feel <laughs> I like. don't, I know, but I don't think it's a matter of like, if he's bigger now, he is bigger now, but I'm saying like, it doesn't take away that his base, if he was, if something was to happen, they would have went up in arms, bro. Like if you think January 6th yeah. is bad, oh, yeah. watch him, something happen to him horrendous like that. Watch what his supporters do. Because the first thing they're going to say is it's the government. Like it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if they drop some QAnon guy or some random demo, you know, a fucking dude that's in Portland that decided to do something like people will think it's the government period. They always would have because he was draining the swamp. Supposedly he was. Yeah. I just don't, I feel like it would have been a bad move because they, people wouldn't have just cried and moved on to the VP like you saw with like, you know, the Kennedy situation like that. That is what happened. People were upset. They didn't know what was going well, on. Now I, there's I, a real conspiracy behind it. Yeah. Well, I think the difference is compared to then and now is 
then there were people like conspiracy government sure. people, but it's definitely way more mainstream than it ever was. Yeah, it is. I think people are like gotten yeah. to the point where they're like, yeah, there's, they do shady shit. They didn't have the internet either. It's true. Well, and now I think if you off Trump, he just becomes a martyr for the movement. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like oh, you're yeah, saying, sure. it just sparks yeah. this new, like uh, there would be factions growing up all over the country being like, Hey, we got to take out this section of this. We got to take, which, you never know. It still might happen. I don't know. They might use that as like some sort of uh, excuse for civil war or excuse for like yeah. clamping down on Republicans. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Epstein, uh, Miss Cupcake commented, did you see that Megan Kelly alluded to Epstein still being alive? Yeah, I don't think that she was saying yeah. he's still alive. That was I uh, do. Oh, I don't think so. I, th I, 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 what, I what, what, what would that mean? Up, sure. I think that uh, I think that he we had talked about this before. Um, I'm over mm -hmm. the thing that he's still alive. Like I'm, I'm over that. But I do think that before he went in, he probably filmed himself dropping some like names, dropping some beans exactly. and helping mm -hmm. and they videotaped it. And she said in that interview, she said, we might, you might actually see him saying it in person. Like, him speaking. But then she left it off. Did I you know. hear how she left it yeah. off? Yes. Hey, if I have the leeway to do so, yes. I don't know what I'm allowed to do. I and think I'm she like, was no, playing that on. card. Let's be real. But yeah, I, I think was. what it could be, if anything, to me is that they actually, he was giving leads mm -hmm. and he was in a situation where he was dropping names and he was saying what was going on. And that might be why he was actually killed. Let's be real. Like, if oh, he, maybe. Because him just being like arrested. Like if somebody heard some word of like who he was naming yeah. out to the mm -hmm. different people. It Either makes sense. military or high up authorities or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, we have to stop him. Now. We have to stop the bleeding, right? Like how much more is he yeah. going to say? Yeah. So it, it would make sense to me if it wouldn't be shocking to me to see some videotaped confession video of him talking about certain people and, and they're actual and not just, oh, Bill Clinton's involved. Mm. We know that. But yeah. actually, this yeah. is what Bill Clinton did. Yeah. This is who well, he did they, it with. If they offed him, why didn't they off Ghislaine Maxwell? Is she not talking? I mean, I don't know. Well, I don't Maybe or maybe not. Listen. Well, she wasn't in custody at that time. Yeah, but she is now. Like, but she, why, she is now. Why is she, yeah. well, why is she not dead yet? Well, That's my you question. don't think that during that time, like, because of what happened to him, she wasn't even more protected? Yeah, I don't. I want to believe that not everyone Well, no, I'm saying, correct. like, now. Like, because if Jeffrey was spilling the beans, yeah. I got to think maybe Ghislaine is spilling the beans. Maybe she's not. But she got, like, a sweetheart deal, remember? And like, I just, I feel like she had a little bit more knowledge of what was going on. Maybe she didn't, but I just, I thought that she was, you know, with her family ties, the money situation, I feel like she was kind of either supporting it more sure. or but, being kind of like a liaison. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know if or what Jeffrey said, right? Like maybe he said all that needed to be said. Like maybe he had, cause listen, I maybe understand he said nothing. There's a chance of that too. Absolutely. Like, yeah, we don't know. Because we don't have any proof that he said anything. No, we don't. I'm saying that, like, that would, I'm talking about Megyn Kelly. I'm just saying if she's making that claim that there is a video or there's him speaking it in his own words, I feel like it's going to be a video in some interrogation. Or, or him in physical. And, and to Chris's point, I, I don't believe that every jail and every prison is corrupt, like, to, yeah. like, to that level. I think New York was that setup, dude, for Jeffrey to get his fuck. I mean, the whole, the two people watching him happen to fall asleep or was not, you know, and all this other shit going on, and the guy that got put in his cell, like, the whole thing's fucking fishy. Maybe somebody that was actually, like, on the right side of the fence was like, we need to actually put her in a place where that's not gonna fucking happen. Yeah. Right? And uh, give her the fucking cushy shit, but we need to protect her at all costs. Like, who knows? I don't know. Yeah, or or he got out. Like, they just, like, hey, uh, guards, go look the other way. Sure. And yeah. If you don't, we're gonna... You know, you'll get fired or worse, you'll get dead. Well, I mean, okay, and then, uh, you say that, but let me ask you like, straight up. What do you think? Do you think he's actually alive or do you think he's dead? Like not dude, speculation. I have, I have no idea. In your heart of hearts, like, in, your, in your gut. I'm just in saying. In my like, heart of hearts, like I, I would have to flip a coin. Oh, wow. Because like I don't, I don't trust the media that much. When they tell me somebody died and I see that like the security guards weren't watching, they fell asleep, quote unquote, mm -hmm. the cameras were all off. And remember like a week or a couple of weeks before this happened, all the power went out yeah. in the same area, like the New York city area, like they had this power outage, like they were preparing for something. Mm -hmm. And then you have like his flight, like the, the path of the flight that could be anything, you know what I mean? But I just know that he had deep connections to freaking Mossad and all this shit. Like same thing with Ghislaine Maxwell. You look at Robert Maxwell, her father, 
it's like the mob, dude. You know what I mean? So yeah. he had protections. He had stuff just like everybody else. <clears throat> and maybe that's why he didn't talk. And they were just like, dude, we'll just get him out, man. I mean, I bug would argue that if you, you brought up mob, I would say, I mean, who's killed more people than the mob, right? Like the mob is literally, that's their game. Like you don't do what they say, you die. And that's where I think this is. I think that he has too much information. He was already compromised. You know what I'm saying? Like they were already after him. There is yeah. no better option than to kill the guy. Because even if you let him live and you send him to some fucking other place, like he still has the information. He could turn rogue at some point, right? Like the right amount of money could make yeah. him say things. that. So there's no better option than to off the guy. That's what I think yeah. if you're in a crime family, crime kind of situation. That he was in. Yeah. Yeah, true. For sure. And then like, I mean, the number one, well, not number one, but a very important asset of being in the mob is uh, disclosure and like not being known, not being arrested as a uh, PDE yeah. or a PEDO. Yes. And also you and to your point, like if you're in the mob and you become, you get too much press and too much, they'll, they'll fucking just off your ass. Like it's yeah. not worth it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like when you look once, at it, once you become a liability, yep. yeah. when you look at it from a mob mentality that you brought up, right? Like it is very obvious to me that I think he's dead. I think that they just yeah. don't want to deal with it. The, the good stuff has already happened. He started the whole thing. I'm talking the good stuff for them. Not for, I don't think it's good, but it's already started. It already happened. The money was already transferred. People were already making their cash. They already had their women. Why have them anymore? Exactly. The damage is like, done. I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't put it past them to off somebody just to like keep mouth shut. So you know what I mean? Yep, yep. Like I, I definitely, I think that that's definitely like a 100% possibility. Sure. Sure. Yeah. But I could also see how they would do things. It's it just like the situation around the whole thing. It's weird. You know, dude, you're not it wrong. Is, is very, very strange. Yeah. Dude, like you're, why you're would you wrong. have to go through that much effort just to off the guy in prison? I don't know. I just think when you have that much kind of sway and influence and power, even though it's not good influence, good power, like it becomes harder to take that person out. Like it just does. I think you're for sure. You're more guarded. That guy becomes more private. He, be, you know, he's got his Island. Like he knows how to get away. He's got his own fucking jet. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, yeah. And remember his, uh, freaking cellmate tried to kill him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I brought that up earlier. beforehand. He yeah. had a, like the a, first, a phone. Yeah. The first time, time he was yeah. in jail or whatever. The roid rage. Remember yeah. that? The yeah. roid rage cellmate. Yeah. I mean, listen, oh, yeah. I think I think the Clintons, I think they took him out, bro. That's what it is. I think they successfully took him out like they have other people. And I, there's not much that can sway me off that opinion for me is that like they knew that if, listen, he may, we may talk about the Clintons and Bill being bad and it may come out that Bill was on the plane or on the island. But until you have that video that shows him doing something or you have the audio of him talking about what he's doing, a lot of people, unfortunately, now are just going to be like, well, we don't know exactly what happened. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, they're fine leaving it at that. So like once yeah, the, it might, it might be the Clinton, it might be above the Clinton's pay grade. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, you're right. But I, I mean, the look Clintons at are Prince working Andrew, for those dude. people. Yeah. You know what I mean? You had like royalty over there and doing shit. That's you're right. Sure. Dan, but see, like, I think they protect their own. I, I think that. Well, like, and then at that point, do you have to, are we misunderstanding the level that Jeff Epstein was at? Like, was he possible. even bigger than we even think he was? Well, Giz Ghislaine was sitting on the, the queen's yeah. throne. He was definitely a facilitator. I mean, he definitely was the middleman for a lot of this. Or stuff. Was he the middleman or was he the fucking guy? Well, I think, yeah. I think Ghislaine was the, the girl. Mm, I, I think I she know. was, I think she was. See, the, I, see that's I what think, we don't know. Yeah. I, I have a feeling she was just, she was kind of like his gopher. <sighs> I don't know, man. She was. I, yeah. If you watch the videos and how they were talking about, I mean, I can get where you're coming from, but if you watch some of those, like their interviews and the stuff that was happening, like she was the one that was going. Well, yeah, that's because if girls. you're running a business, the boss isn't the one doing the dirty work. Yeah, to some extent, but you like you, in order to get them in the position, you have to sell them well. And she did. Right. And yeah. so like he was oh. the one getting the massages. He was the one that was like calling Bill and saying, hey, man, I got I got a new gal in here. Yeah, Dude, for so Miss Cupcake has a couple of, of uh, comments here that I wanted to say. So she said, I think Bill was Epstein's bitch. Agreed. Otherwise. Why would you allow somebody to have a painting of you in a dress displayed in their house, right? So, but check this out. Well, she also said <laughs> maybe he used blackmail to be able to fake his death, right? Like, I'll tell you, I'll spill the beans, but you got to get me the F out of here. Well, that's, that, go, that is part okay, of the process too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the, hiding somebody and changing their identity is absolutely part of the process, man. He had a big enough head that they could easily change it up. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they can make it look very different. 
Uh, but he well, did I mean, have there like was a, that uh, like Anthony Bourdain theory too. I'm like, eh, the only I'll that. say this about he the, had like a Harry and the Hendersons head. It was very weird looking. Like I, when I was actually drawing his head, I was like, God damn it, this is a like big head <laughs> for like not you know. But um, the one thing I was the whole like the the dress thing, you know, like I think that's I always thought that was funny and weird. Um, mm-hmm. But I, we had this like, a quick story, man. You guys know Flat Earth Al, just Al at this oh, point. Yeah. Like for his bachelor party. He, he was at my house one time for Halloween and he was dressed as like a, like a gay biker. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. He had mini shorts on with his cheeks out and he had like this tucked in button up shirt with the hat and the whole fucking glasses. And I had a, uh, I took him down to my motorcycle and we took some photos of him on the bike. Right. We thought it was hilarious <laughs> looking and he was like all posed out. Didn't he have his bike. pubes sticking out too? His uh, no, not in those, not in those, not, not in those ones, not in those ones. <laughs> okay, okay. He was just being very, uh, it was kind of a mix between YMCA yeah. and Judas Priest on a bike. It was like the gay easy rider magazine, you know? <laughs> so anyways, yeah. we had, some, we took some photos of him. We thought they were hilarious. Right. So, you know, fast forward his bachelor party. We're all doing, we, we rented a house at the beach too. We were all hanging out for the weekend. We decided we were going to take that photo and go to the print shop and make a poster of it. Yeah. And so we printed out this big, you know, poster sized picture of him on this bike. We felt pretty weird. They printed that shit out and they saw what we we're doing. But what, so what I'm trying <laughs> they, to say. They, they actually did it? Yeah. They did it. Oh, yeah. We're like, the, what are you doing with this? No, oh, yeah. that, that poster's hanging up in his studio it's, right now. He still has it. And uh, <laughs> okay. so my point is, is like we as friends, which I think it, what it's t- more telling yeah, to me about the picture is like, I don't know. It, even in, during that time, I don't think Al would have just sat for hours and let someone paint him. They don't need to sit for hours. I don't need him to sit there for me to draw a painting of him. Like, you you take a woman's body, you put his head on it, you fucking do the that whole... That wasn't a woman's body, though. That I know, but, a, I know, but was... I'm saying, like, what I'm saying is you absolutely do not need that person in the room to do that. Yeah, and, like, probably. he probably did it. Was, and, and what it tells me personally is not so much that he was his bitch, was that they're way closer than we realized. Friend wise. Maybe. Yeah. That's what I get from it. They yeah, were maybe. so close that they were willing to mock each other in a, in a fucking painting. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. that's something I would do. I would. Yeah, I would that's fuck. true. That's true. Which, which lends more credibility to just how sick. Exactly. They, they both are. probably. I, I drew a picture of you. <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> just like Al. I drew a picture of you. Oh, Chris, I mean with the whole, the other part of it. <laughs> dress up as Yoda. Uh, okay. I, I took your face and put you on a Yoda and had you that fucking, uh, uh, I had a Chris Yoda and yeah. it's, it's, it's because you're my friend. So I was like, God, oh, this is fucking hilarious. Dude, you're a green Yoda. <laughs> And so I just, I think that it actually shows that they were much, much, much closer and they weren't just like this. Oh, we see each other on, you know, every couple of weeks. Were, yeah. They actually had a, a deep friendship to me. That's what I, for I sure, dude. Yeah. Is. That's exactly it what was I was built on. Too. I like, I don't, I don't shit. see it as, yeah, I don't see it as like a black male thing. I don't see it as like a, Oh, look what I got on you. It's like a fucking you, Bill Clinton and Bill Clinton was the president. So, I mean, he also had Jeffrey Epstein a picture of uh, George Bush with an airplane, like a, oh, a paper yeah. airplane, airplane and the Jenga yeah. things that fell yeah. down, like Twin Towers, you know? Uh, and she, and Miss Cupcake says, like, well, what about the humiliating painting of George Bush? They weren't close. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if they were close or not. I, I don't know if they were close. So that's, that's the one thing is, like, we've really put a lot of focus on Clinton, and we've really put a lot of focus on Prince Andrew and these people that we do know for sure, but who knows? what they've infiltrated this this whole time how long but, it's been around but also just because they may or may not have been close doesn't mean they are not guilty of everything that they've been accused of. i mean he could be mocking Bush. They, they, their relationship could be that close because of what they're in who was in office when he was first getting charged with certain things and and the courts let him go obama i don't think it was obama dude. Right? was it 2000 no i thought it was wasn't it 2006? His first case? Yeah, uh, I thought he was, was like, Yeah, I think it was two, between 2006 and 2008, something like that. Because it was Alex was it? Acosta, right? Might have been. I'm just trying to put see if it makes sense, but first time Jeffrey Epstein was arrested. Yeah, 2006. Mm. Yeah, so good old Obama. So it was Obama. Yeah. Who knows them? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, I, I, I'm just throwing out theories. I, I, what I am saying is I have no problem and we have no problem as friends like mocking each other in pictures and shit. Yeah, you know? I'm just saying just because they, they if that is the case, because they're, they were close and that's why the picture, pictures exist. It doesn't mean their friendship or relationship wasn't built on this sick shit. Oh, it was. Yeah. No, I think that they, they I think it was built on that. I, I just think that like that kind of stuff to me says more about them being better friends and closer companions and partners, even if you want to call it that than just uh, humiliation, which I think is part of it. I think mm-hmm. it, maybe to Epstein, it was like a, 
fucking pussy, dude. I got you. You know what I mean? But to mm. Bill, it's like, oh, 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 fucking, you're funny, dude. This is well, great. it could have been the other way. It could have yeah. been too. Like Bill, maybe Bill thought they were friends, mm-hmm. and, and Epstein was honest, like, I fucking got you by the balls. Yeah, that's I true. mean, it's just a painting. It's not like it's a true. real picture. Like, cause Dave. Yours was a real picture oh, yeah. of Dietmar on the fucking bike dressed like a tranny. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's Not like, a tranny. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, let's say uh, it was uh, a transsexual. Yeah, he was the old school gay in that picture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, okay. Just just straight up like, hey, I'm a little I thought he was wearing a, a dress or a skirt. No, he wasn't wearing a dress. No. He was wearing like he was a, wearing a mini shorts. Uh, very, very short shorts, uh, like a, shorts. a jean jacket. And like aviators. some aviators and a biker hat. Because <laughs> yeah. I remember that. I remember for Halloween, oh, I remember God. seeing him with his pubes <sighs> popping out the top. And he was like <sighs> caressing them. He yeah. always had like, his pubes out. No, he just he really <laughs> he had the longest pubes. <laughs> he loved his, his junk area as much as you love shit, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like he was obsessive about uh, that kind of stuff. But either way, yeah, I, listen, I, I think it's, it's weird that we're still talking about it after all this time. Because we just haven't got the information. And somebody well, has this information. That's what's fucking annoying. It's not really weird, mm-hmm. though. Because just more information about that kind of shit just keeps coming. I know, but it's dumb. That, like, this has been years now. You know what I'm saying? And that, like, they have the information. Like, all this stuff that was just released, they've had that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, True. Why does yeah. it take so fucking long? And then when they drop it, it's still like, well, what does that mean? What does this mean? You know, like, it's not even, like... It's just never well, good. They it's said never... that it was the list. So the whole thing was hyperbolic. Yeah. Everybody like overinflated this whole story. They said it was a list, but really it was just the undisclosed court documents from the uh, Guffrey case. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There wasn't really anything that. No, new. it was kind of stuff that we knew already and it just verified what we know, which yeah. is good. It's good that it's, there's actual writing of it and, and it's in paperwork. We see it. Yeah. So it's not really speculation, but again, it's yeah. like, what was the extent? Somewhere in the FBI, somewhere in the wherever, there's videos of that on that fucking island. There's oh, audio sure. on that fucking but island. But nothing, that, they nothing had a is palette. gonna happen. They had a whole palette. Yes. Yeah, they held a they had a whole palette of like videotapes. Yes. Uh like what was it? CDs or cassette yeah. tapes or something like that. Well, but, just like the January so, I mean, 6th shit, it's gone it's gone missing. It'll go missing. Oh yeah. Did you see that, dude? Yeah. They had just what? they had just found out that the 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 couple days before the house GOP took over the majority. They deleted yeah. like a hundred fucking whatever Major gigabytes documents. or whatever of documents from January six. Of course oh. they did. You know, of course I'm not. I, I don't think that's like groundbreaking. So what's, but but so they nothing will happen. Well, they recovered I mean, them. That's that was the they news recovered that came out today. They recovered them. Yes, they recovered. Them. Supposedly. Duke, Duke. So, but the point is, is like it's not weird to have people covering up for people hiding shit. And yeah. oh, where did that pallet go that we had of Epstein Island? I was like, I don't know, Bob. It's somewhere around here in this warehouse, and they just well, oh, we'll that, find it later. You know, <laughs> that's like the real story. Because I heard only a couple. Do you guys know who Jason Burmis is? No. He did a uh, 9-11 documentary and then he kind of blew up and he has his own channel like on Rockfin. He's pretty big. Mm. Alex Jones was talking about this and everybody has their, you know, if, ands, or buts about him. But everybody's saying, okay, this is all great. You're unsealing court documents. Mm-hmm. But what about the video footage? What about the the hundreds of tapes that you had on this freaking pallet? Yep. And I believe the pallet was from the New York residents. Am I right? Mm, they had stuff from the New York residents, but they had a lot of, I think they had a lot of documents on the island as well, like video uh, cassettes. Oh, and yeah, videos. dude. Yeah. So, I mean, but think you know about the is. layer, it's, right? The it, layer yeah. of the cameras, you know, they had yeah. like oh, yeah, screenshots yeah, of the cameras. Yeah, screenshot that it was going around for a while. This is what it is. This is what yeah. it comes down to. If you release a thousand documents, right? It takes how long to decipher through all that bullshit? And then you get 50,000 opinions about that fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. One 10 second video would end this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? One video exactly. of, of Clinton getting his fucking dick sucked by some fucking underage girl would end the whole fucking thing because people would be outraged, right? Oh, yeah. And so you don't need a thousand documents. You need 10 seconds, and that's why you're not seeing it. But you really think while uh, Biden and Obama's running things in the background and the, they have those people in the fucking head positions at the FBI and all, all these fucking places that any, any of that would ever happen until they're gone. See, I don't know how in depth this is though. Like, I don't think it's just has to do with Barack Obama and Biden. I don't think that they have real control. I feel like, well, they get to appoint the people that control whether or not anything happens. 
No, but I, I actually think, think it's, it's like a such a worldwide agencies. web, a, dude. I, I feel like the uh, all of this shit is entrenched. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. to have that much control, I don't think it's just like the president and the VP. No, I'm not saying it is either. But <laughs> but those people get to appoint people that are going to do what they want to do in those high, like FBI director in and theory. all those. No, that's what they do in theory. What do you mean? We have seen way too many examples of the FBI, CIA having secret things that they do rogue. I mean, they go absolutely rogue. And like, I actually don't believe that the he can appoint all these right people and they can Mm -hmm. say all the right shit. But I really believe that these agencies are almost acting as their own governments. And they're more than happy. Just like with the UFO shit, right? Like, how come no one knows about Area 51, right? Like, every president's like, you know, they'll give you the basics and no one actually, now, they could be lying. I get that. But I'm saying, you know, and I know that they have secret kind of organizations in those. Dude, it's a, it's a mob. Agencies. It is. It's a fucking mob. So that's why the I don't, that's why mob. I was kind of going against you on that. Like just because he's appointed somebody and they, he thinks that he has power over the CIA or FBI. Like I, I absolutely believe that the majority, if not the majority, a big portion of those people are going rogue and doing what they feel like they need to do. You know what I'm saying? Hiding information because they don't have to tell them. They get some information. They go to the Island. They see some shit. Obama's not there. Right. So they don't have to say, Oh shit! This is looks bad. Who do, who are they? Uh, you know who are they working with? If they're in with the Clintons, right? Mm-hmm. If they if the Clintons actually got them their job to begin with, and they see something with Clinton's name on a cassette, you don't think that they're just gonna be like, I can tuck that one away. Like let's not put that one in there. Well, evidence. not only that, throw Dave, in the fucking like, ocean. When when you are in that position, you probably say, "Hey, take care of it. The less I know, the better." Because mm-hmm. if you are interrogated and you really don't know what's going on, it only benefits you. But you know you have a protected network. That is all protecting each other. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, if that guy goes down, we all go down. You know, like how Madonna said, if the ship goes down, we all go down. But that's down. what I'm saying, though. That person, if you, if that person you appointed to say, hey, the more, the less I know, the better you know how to fucking take care of this, mm-hmm. then that guy is telling this guy to now be the same corrupted piece of shit that he is. Mm-hmm. So it is, it still is the guy at the top. Yeah, but to, to what level, like, <laughs> I hate defending Obama, for example, but like to what level do they really know what's going on? Right. Like they assume like this is a good man. He's a great guy. We picked him because, you know, but like I don't think they're assuming. I think they I think when maybe. when the majority of people are picking individuals for those positions, they know. Who they're picking and why they're picking. But see, that argument didn't go well with Trump. He picked a lot of really poor people. And the whole idea of like he picked him just to expose them. I mean, that didn't play out very well for him. That whole theory. No. Why? Because no. I, I, I just don't think it did. I think like it hurt his. Can- they were hurt his, his. They were already party. exposed as deep state people. They were like, already. To who? If you look to everybody. I to, mean, to I, everybody. I to people I don't that, know about that, to everybody. But to people that I, well, could there's actually not really do everybody something. looking at him right now, though. I mean, like. I Are John we talking Bolton? about Bolton anymore at all? Is it John Bolton? He's still walking around. He's still doing shit. What I'm saying is, it expose it to you and me, maybe. But what are we gonna do? We we have no control over that. Situation. That's all that matters. It, it doesn't because it does. I mean, how? Because we're the ones that that vote. We that's but not you a don't voted vote position. these people in, though. I know, like, but you Fauci, you don't vote Fauci in. That's the but problem, you vote the like, person in that puts Fauci in. We voted Trump in. I know. So that's my point. It hurt Trump probably more than it helped him. Because <laughs> that, that's Fauci. the one thing a lot of people are saying right now when we were having the discussion about Trump. And a lot of people will say, well, the vaccination was one thing that really pissed me off. There's a lot of people that are like, the one thing that I still can't get over is how poorly he picked some of the people around him. And he did. Like, he did pick some very poor people around him. And, and now yeah. you know those people are pieces of shit. And, but now and what? Fauci had been yeah. in that position way before Trump was even but there. See that, I know, but here's but, at what point do we get away from like, okay, exposure is very, very important. Okay, I understand that, right? I'm, I'm with it 100%, right? You're trying to show Fauci. You're trying to show Bolton for what they are. But at the same time, by having them in, you're wasting time not getting something done that needs to get done. Exactly. That's what you're getting done. Not only that. No, that's not getting no. anything done. That's just exposing. You're not actually having him stop but then, And then if you, if you as the public don't know any better, then you've accomplished nothing. Because now the next time around, mm-hmm. some other fucking corrupt piece of shit is just going to get voted in. But not only that, though, he didn't admit any, like, he hasn't come out and admitted what he got wrong. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what Anomaly was saying about DeSantis dropping out, because this is a a big deal. We didn't really talk about this yet, but DeSantis drops out. Yeah, yeah. He was, and he immediately endorses Trump's, right? And so Mm -hmm. he was hoping that DeSantis and Trump would go head to head 
And he he said like iron sharpens iron. So you'd have the yeah. best ideas from DeSantis, the best ideas from Trump, and you'd kind of polish them out and be like, hey, this is where I got it wrong, but this is where we're going to do it better next time. Trump doesn't even talk about what he's going to do or, or like what his flaws were in his previous administration. And he needs to come out and like admit that. Like, yeah, but you're also asking him to do something that almost no one fucking does. Like no president comes back to me like, this is where I fucked everything up. <laughs> you know, like not fucked. I'm not saying like, go I know, but all out, but where, where just did like, the, Hey, here's something that I'm going to do better this time. Like John Bolton was a fuck. You know what I mean? Like he had people lying to him. Remember like yes. how many troops were left in Afghanistan yes, or some absolutely. shit like that. Oh yeah. yeah. So it, it's just like that kind of thing. And you know, he hires, you know, a lot of pharmaceutical companies at the head of positions in the HHS yeah. that everybody just kind of like blinks an eye and says, hey, Trump will take care of it. He'll take care of it. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. But I don't know if he knows what he's doing. Well, I, I don't know if that like, yeah, that's those are strong. words. I, I think he. The government's different, man. And I know when Joe Rogan was asked about him being on the show, like actually getting Trump on the show recently, mm -hmm. they're like. One of Joe Rogan's questions was, I want to know, I really want to know what it's like going from being a civilian to government. You know what I'm saying? To being a president, like you are kind of jumping into a whole lot of shit that you really don't know about, like how it works. And I'm pretty sure that Trump probably had, just like Pence was a pile of shit. I'm pretty sure that he had the word of other Republicans like, hey, if you get in, man, we'll make sure that you're set up with the right people. We'll get you a right, the right, you know, we'll tell you the good people you want around you. That's going to help your, you know, your presidency. And he got hoodwinked. I think that's what it we're was. We're just assuming that, though. Is, we're assuming. Uh, we're that. assuming, but I'm saying I think that he, I think he was told bad information, man. These are the best in what they do. This guy's going to help you with this. And, and I've heard a lot of people talk about that and say that like, same excuse or same excuse, except yeah. for Trump. Trump never admits. Yeah, like but, he never admits that. But Trump like, is hey, the, I, the kind of person that's not going to admit when he's wrong. Like, let's be real honest. He is such well, an egotistical I mean, person. He, you have to. Dude. I know, but he. I'm talking about look at his DNA. Look at him and his person, like please go find me times where he said that he didn't do a great job. Even when he did a poor job, it's just like tell him Biden did, right yeah, now, the he, economy is excellent. He's like, it's better than it's ever been. Like you're lying. You know, you're lying. You're not going to admit that it's bad, right? Like, well, he's and just he not. never said that he's like prayed to God for forgiveness either. So I mean, like, yeah, he couldn't even admit that to his whatever pastor, like during some sort yeah. of interview. But yeah, it's like one of those things where if you had some sort of recognition of where he went wrong with the, the, uh, the cast around him, yeah. that is what I want to see. Because if he doesn't recognize that, yeah. he's going to do it again. I, I, listen, mean, I, I don't know that there's any me way to believe that he's going to do it again. I, I don't know that there's any way to know other than like, he's probably going to win. I would, I'm, I'm kind of just throwing it out there. Like he's leading in all the polls. He seems like he's doing pretty good. And all I can say is I really hope, that this time around, he learned his lesson. Let's be real. That was his first time in a fucking held seat of anything. Okay. He probably got hoodwinked, in my opinion. And this time around, there's no excuse. Like, he's coming in. He's been there. He's done that. He knows who fucked him over. He knows who's, who was loyal to him. And uh, I really hope, because if he starts putting out a bunch of dumbasses right off the bat again, I'm just going to be like, dude, what are, you, what are you doing? Like, I mean, you should have known better at this point. And I don't see he's well, going to he do has that. nothing to lose. Like, so why wouldn't he do that? Because, because he's not. Why wouldn't well, he just he does have something to lose? He does have something. Well, to lose. maybe he'll run again because he keeps on well, saying no. that he's going to run for the third yeah, term. Right. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I'm he, just saying like this is his second term. So what does he have to lose? Like he can lie as much as he wants and then just hire everybody else. again. It's, it's Donald you know? Trump. He has legacy. To, yeah, that's what that's lose. what I think, too. Uh, he his name and his fucking image is more important than anything. Right. So if he goes through like. If he goes through and does what you're saying he could do, right? Like picks the worst cabinet ever, picks a bunch of fucking dumbasses, gets nothing done, right? Like you, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm, I'm just hypothetical. Like I'm just hypothetical. Yeah. Um, his entire base are gonna turn on him. They will. Like they're gonna say mm -hmm. like you're not the guy that we've been supporting for the past eight years. You know what I'm saying? Like you did this flip, and to your point of like what's he have to lose? He has everything to lose because he could go down as the worst, right? Like he could, he could go down as the biggest crook we've ever known as a president. Hypothetical. Yeah. And so to him and the Trump family, like you want that? You want your dad being like the crook of the fucking White House? Like you want that? And then at the same time, like all, all his sons and, and daughters they have to, and stuff, they have a future they're looking out for. Yeah. So they're like, what? They'd have to step in and go, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just saying the whole fool me once thing. But then couldn't they just, he just blame it on somebody else? Be like, oh, look, they did this to me. And like, I, I couldn't it help still, it. Like, it was still rude because he claims that he is in charge and he is uh, unafraid to do what's right. And, and to fucking, he's the businessman. He knows how to do this. 
And so, like, yeah, he could blame somebody else, but they would still say, you're supposed to be this alpha male, bro. This alpha businessman who knows, you know, you're fired. You're fucking fired. Like, that, all that shit crumbles down when he starts to go in a second term. There's a gap in between those terms, right? For him mm-hmm. to, like, plan this out and to understand where he f- was flawed. And he's, it, it, we're going to know within a year what, what kind of situation we're going to be in with Trump. And I'm yeah, hoping for the best. I think, I think we'll it would be the best. Out. But I'm, I'm still I, on, I really I'm still the on the train. Too, but. I'm on the train. I'm still on the train of this next year is going to be unlike anything this country's ever seen. I, I, but see, I, what you, I like think. Like bad or good? Good. Yeah. I, okay. I, listen, I think what you have to distinguish, Chris, though, is that like you can be on the train and also be kind of like skeptical or like keeping a kind of open eye on the situation, right? Because I have a lot of faith in Trump. I do. I think the guy did a lot of good things. He did some pretty bad things, but he did a lot of great things, right, for the country. But I, I think that if he makes the same mistakes he made on the first one, the few mistakes that he did make, I think is going to be not good for him at all, like at all. And, it just depends well, how you look at yeah. it. Yeah. And actions yeah. speak louder than words. So if he gets the shit done, then fucking good job. I don't need any, like, recognition then, I guess. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. boy, oh, boy, it would make me feel a lot more comfortable voting for the guy. I, I listen. Well, I mean, after this, you won't ever vote for him again because I'm absolutely he's not getting another term. Like, I don't believe any of that shit that he says with that. Right. But somebody will come along and he's going to be around for at least a little bit. I mean, he's still pretty spry, bro. He could live, you know, a couple, 10, 20 more years. Who knows? Right. So mm-hmm. I just think that, like, to him, that legacy is very, very important. If you were a president for two terms, can you come back as a vice president? I don't think so. I don't know. Why I don't, not? I don't know. Actually, I, 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 I don't know. It's either. never happened. I don't think. I don't think it's ever happened. <laughs> like if, if, you, if someone like, if like Obama was Biden's vice. Yeah. Biden's like president. if Obama yeah. did his two terms and then Biden puts him as his vice president. Is that illegal hmm. to do? Uh, here's my question. If hmm. you guys have brought up that you think that like even Michelle could still run. I know there's articles that are saying generic shit because they those are all yeah. generic. Like, well, Fox oh, News. She, I sent that one over. Fox yeah. News came out. I was like, she's gear- gearing up. It's for all it. the same generic shit. But the point is, if that worked, if that's how it was, like, why would Obama? He was still fairly young. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why wouldn't he just run Biden with him as VP? And it would have been a guaranteed, right? Like. Not a guarantee. Yeah. That's rough. But that's I'm why saying, I asked. I don't. I don't know if that's even. I don't know if it is. Do. I don't. I, I think most of the time they want to get the fuck out. If you want my honest opinion, I know power is great and stuff, but like you look pretty shitty after you become a president. Trump's one of the few that didn't age drastically compared to other people. Like that shit does turn you gray and fucking frail. Yeah. You know. So can you imagine sixteen years as a president, you'd look like a fucking. You'd look like the uh, crypt keeper fucking dude. You know. What if it actually like <laughs> never really was supposed to turn you frail and gray haired and all that stuff, mm. but it was all the blackmail and stress and like, well, even uh, look, look at a uh, old, old time pictures. Like there's pictures of like, uh, of Lincoln, well, Lincoln's about example. He went through a civil war. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah he, <laughs> That's pretty stressful. <laughs> but yeah. like every president, like you look at pictures from when they first took office and when they left, they're like drastically aged. Oh, sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, you know, yeah, this is different. Like, I think back then you did age differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was talking to my yeah. dad and he's like, man, I'm whatever he is. He's, he's older. And I'm like, it's just different now. 60s are like, you know, 60s in the 60s, like 1960s was like very old looking. Like yeah. you were, you were like, look like you were close to death. You look like Joe Biden, you know, at 60 years old in 1960. Do you hear uh, fucking uh, Nikki Haley wants to put the retirement age to 70? Yeah. Yeah. Dang, dude. Well, you did bring up DeSantis dropped out. It's really basically Nikki Haley left. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. I, th- I think uh, if she loses her state coming up here pretty soon, and and she already well, had... everyone else from her state is endorsing Trump. Yeah, so. I know, I know. It's <laughs> not. It, what's her state? New Hampshire or what's yeah, her state? Right, New Hampshire, South Carolina, South Carolina. I don't remember. South Carolina. It's but either South or North Carolina. Tim Scott know. came out and endorsed uh, Trump. Yeah, and that was the person that she appointed. Right, so like they mm-hmm. asked her, they said, uh, you know, what do you think of him endorsing Trump? And she said. We'll see what he does. But it's like, no, he did. He just did. Like, what do you mean? We'll see <laughs> yeah, what he does. He did. It almost <laughs> yeah. seemed like a threat. Um, but no, I don't listen. Really? She has no hope. Okay. No. And DeSantis, that was the best thing he could have done was came out and just said, I, and I respect <laughs> it. He came out and said, I have no path to victory. Uh, I mean, it seems that people want Donald Trump and I'm going to support Donald Trump. And that's how you should be. Right. Like it just, Move on, bro. Like you, you, you weren't, it wasn't your time. <laughs> okay. Well, and so I heard something really clever today about getting Ron DeSantis voters onto Trump's side is if Trump were to say, I'm going to make Ron DeSantis a part of my cabinet, he's going to lead whatever mm-hmm. department, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe that can bring in some um, of his votes. Same thing with RFK Jr. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I think the, all those votes are gonna, like, listen, DeSantis just endorsing him is a helpful thing, right? Because those people that are on the fence, maybe they're still on the fence, but him coming out and being, listen, guys, it's pretty fucking obvious. We need to unite on this stuff. And I know some tweet said that he backed out of that already uh, about kind of like, you know, kind of being on Team Trump. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen anything about it, though. But yes, it would be mm -hmm. wise for him to get him in a good position. Um, even though I think Florida would, you know, probably dislike that as a whole. He does a pretty good job in Florida. Um, but having him in position and having uh, Ramaswamy in a position, right, like those bringing in some younger votes and he's also pretty spry. Yeah, I, I think it's a positive thing, man. Nikki Haley will not. I don't think she will she ever endorse Donald Trump. I know, but she will never come out and say I endorse Donald Trump. I really don't believe that she will. Even when she drops out tomorrow, I don't see her coming no, out no, being like, we need to support sure. Donald Trump. It no, was, she's 100% full on establishment. Yeah. So, and we all know that already. So no shock, you know, but where would, I mean, where would DeSantis be good at? That, that would be the question, right? I, I, Being governor. I think so. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm saying if he was invited into a cabinet position or into a uh, position, I, I don't know where. Dude, he, I don't even know all the cabinet positions and what they do. So I don't, I don't know. I, I have a know. feeling most of them don't do a lot. Well, I, well so I mean, Ben Carson actually Trump, is supposedly did some pretty good stuff when he was doing the housing Trump stuff. Trump did call like Ron DeSantis meatball, remember? And he's oh, like, yeah. uh, I'm calling him Ron yeah. DeSanctimonious. He yeah. officially retired that Ron DeSanctimonious sure. name. Sure. So I don't know. He, a lot of people might still have some like bad taste in their mouth. Like if they wanted to vote for Ron DeSantis and then they heard everything that Trump, Trump was saying. Because remember, you guys went to the Trump rally and he was saying some dirty stuff about Ron DeSantis. Oh, like yeah. he went on for yeah. a while, right? Too long. Yeah. And you were just like, dude. Uh, that's yeah, but, uh, but see, that's the game. But that's the game, and we left it saying like it was kind of annoying that he spent twenty minutes of his speech talking about like if you're not that concerned about Ron, why are you talking about him so much, no. right? But at the same time, but some now, people might not. Yeah, some people might have not gotten over that and been maybe. like, dude, hmm. I know. But you look at like Ted Cruz, like right? Look at all these people that he was going after hard in the first like. Like they usually flip around. They end up working well together. Like it's part of the fucking thing, dude. Like, I mean, the Democrats do it with Joe Biden. They were fucking ripping him up and down when they were actually debating. Now they all love him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it is what it is. Some people are not going to support Trump. It's just, that's how it is, man. Trump is that divisive that some people just won't. And that's fine. I think he has enough votes at this point to move along quite nicely. Honestly. I think uh, whoever his VP pick is going to end up being, I think, uh, what's her name? McEnany came out and said something yeah. that, uh, like, basically she dismissed the idea that uh vivek as vice president he's like it'd be she said uh it'd be stupid to make someone like him vice president really because you're you want a vp that is going to bring you more support i think v he would Viv no vivek is has the same supporters that trump has no i i, I disagree with you on that glenn beck was talking that's about what that's show. what she was saying know, she, you want to get somebody that's going to bring you additional supporters not just but people who? that would already vote for you no, but who at this point with the way that things have gone over the past eight years like seriously like real question man who is out there that's going to bring him different support i don't know i think at the, and i've said it and i'm gonna I, I think it. it's good rfk uh, jr that would be one maybe but that's not going to happen glenn beck had on a show or he was on a podcast and he said that donald trump called him and he said, I have, a, I have a list of people that I'm calling in the Republican Party conservative movement. And I'm asking them, like, who do you think the VP would pick? This is what, this is what Glenn Beck said. And uh, he said, I'm just curious on who you think. I'm not saying I'm picking that person. I just want to know who you think I should pick as a VP. And Glenn Beck said he thought that Vivek should be VP. Hmm. And Trump said, ah, oh, that's interesting. Most people say that I should pick Vivek for VP. And why do you think that? And he just said, I feel like he's quick-witted. I feel like he's going to have your back. Like he knows how to interact with people and he brings in a young crowd. And I, I will think that that is one thing about Vic. And we've seen that over TikTok. He is good at engaging in younger people. Okay. And, and usually when somebody listens to him, they understand where he's coming from. And I think that would be a good push because I think he could get up there and speak and people will listen. And whether they like him or not, that's up to, <clears> up to debate. But I, I think he Did would you know be that Vivek right said that he cried when he saw January 6th. Yeah. I listen. I know there's, yeah. There's plenty and of he wrote effect. a book back in 2022, like literally not that long ago, yeah. about how Trump was the cause of all this stuff. I understand. So, I mean, that. he's flipping out. He's saying what he wants to say and what he needs to say yeah. to get the support. So he's like, he's a flip flopper in the kind of worst way for me. I I don't trust the guy. I think he's fucking super slimy, and he's just he's a slick talker because yeah. he knows exactly how to play the game, and that's exact. That's why he's a slick talker. Yeah. I don't think Did you he's, read the book? he's doing this to trust you. No, but I've read, I've 
listen to podcasts that have actually read certain parts of it. Oh. And I'm like, okay, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. listen, I think they all are. I, I mean, if you want my honest opinion, I think they all are. I think most people will say what they want to say to get into an office. But Oops. like we said before, at some point you got, listen, I'm not, I don't, he doesn't have my vote. You know what I'm saying? I, and I honestly don't, he won't be VP. I, I almost no, positive. I don't think he will. Either. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. But he definitely has started a mini tiny movement. It's not very big, but he definitely was getting out there. He was good at using social media, which Trump was good at. And so, you know, TikTok videos and stuff, those things were circulating quite well with him. I think, I think, yeah, uh, a good 75 to 90 percent of both Vivek's supporters and DeSantis supporters are going to vote for Trump. So I just saved a, uh, yeah. I just bookmarked something for you, Chris. It's, would, the, yeah. it's the Vivek clip of him saying, you know, like, I cried. I cried when I saw the disgrace that unfolded at the footsteps of uh, the Capitol. This might be controversial and then there's say, actually a screenshot the of the, disgrace uh, the that book. Unfolded at the footsteps of the Capitol on January 6th. I, I cried. I was in tears when I watched on television that day. This might be controversial. I feel like that's so out of context, bro. <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's a little out of context. I, I, I want to... Is it? Yes. Because, like, here's the deal. We all talked... We already talked about this. Like, the January 6th in itself, I didn't think was that big of a deal. But we all knew that it was infiltrated and that there was, you could see it happening where there was infiltration happening and people doing things to make everybody look bad. And that is fucking disgusting and gross. Yeah. And it's sad because, you know, listen, I'm, I'm just speaking what I just hearing a fucking one line clip. I mean, that to me is such horseshit, but it, it, I just feel like, yes, it was bad because how many people are in prison still or in jail still, right? That were part of this mm -hmm. group that, and, and here we got feds getting off scotch free, bro. Like it is disgraceful. What are you talking <laughs> oh, about? Yeah. Like it, like we saw what was happening. We saw that it was more likely government doing it than the people actually protesting. Yeah. But you're saying like that takes away from the actual rage. Like there's actually like, there's true emotion out there. There's a lot of people that disagreed with the election results. That's why they were out there. 100%. You know what I mean? So it yeah. takes away from that whole movement. Like it's not what takes away roots. Even that was what's that? What takes away from the movement? If you say that it was all just a government psyop plan and it was all planted no, and it was all just no. government feds doing it. I said, it. when you like, look at the That was my entire... argument back then. And you were saying, well, that takes away from the-, the It does. You know, the freaking- It does. When you say the whole thing is, but listen, you can watch the video. All you have to do is watch the video. You can see how many people were standing around with their little flags and with their posters and shit that they had and how many people were causing real trouble and doing all the cameras move to that fucking person. You know what I'm saying? The person that starts busting all the windows out, boosh, cameras over to them. It is a disservice because the people, 95% of the people are 90%, who knows, were there because they were angry. And I think it is a disservice to say it was only government ran. But yeah. what you saw and what I saw, the images that the, the fucking hearings put out, that shit was mostly fucking feds, in my opinion. Yeah. And so that's, you have to be able to distinguish the two, man. But you can't just say it's only feds and government because people did show up on their own will because they were angry. But the, the, what they're classifying well, as January 6th was. Is the feds. Was feds. You yeah. saw plenty but, of videos. I mean, yeah. people showed up because Trump wanted them to. He said, hey, everybody show up to the freaking, what's it called? Uh, next to the Capitol. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. The, oh, the eclipse yeah. or something. Sure. So, I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, Trump didn't call for all of this shit to happen. He didn't call no. for violence. He said, everybody go home. It's not the time to be violent, right? You have the clip of him saying all this. Yes. But he wanted people to go out there to show support, which is what we should do. It was we a trap. Should, like, go. Yeah, exactly. It they set a trap. A trap. They set a trap. He fell well, into a trap. I mean, he did. it is what it is. But I mean, to say that you cried about it, like, that's just like, like, why are you saying that? Like, I mean, just that, don't say you I cried think about he's, it. I think he's, yeah, I think he uh, exaggerates his emotions and stuff. And I, I, I get it. Um, but it's, it's not cr cry worthy. It's, it's frustrating and, and makes you angry because you can exactly. see what they were trying to do and what the government was like. We, you said it yourself. You can't let a good thing go to waste, man. And they saw it and they said, dude, they're going to show up. And we're going to let those fuckers in and we're going to film, just film those guys, only film these guys. In fact, what's his name was uh, that one clip of Nancy Pelosi getting a phone call from Mike Pence mm -hmm. where he's oh. like, this is what's going on. And all the people are standing around uh, Schumer and all them, uh, you know, this is uh, so they're going to be shutting the doors down here and we got to get ourselves into safety that like the dude, I can't remember what podcast or show it was on, but that was filmed like two or three times. The same yeah. thing. Well, different angles I mean, this of shit. The sad part is that that's not just all that was recorded. That's all that was released. Exactly. And so I'm just yeah. saying like, yeah. you have a bunch of this movement that was mostly peaceful until you got no. some rioters, right? Yeah. But you're not seeing the peaceful part of the video. No, you're no, not no, seeing no. like, 
I was talking you about know, that yeah, the government, so like Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, planned this, and they were literally they had Mike Pence. They gave three takes for the same phone call. Like that's not a in a situation where you think shit's going down. I'm yeah. not saying wait, guys, let's try that one more time because that didn't sound good enough. I couldn't hear Mike very well, so let's play that. That's what they did. Yeah. They say, hey, okay, Mike, go ahead and repeat that line. Um, I'm going to get this angle over here. Like, there's, there's literally the same conversation he's having is shot in three different areas with people in different sections. It's, 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 it just is like a planned out weird fucking thing. And who knows if we'll ever get to the bottom of it. I'm sure that'll get washed under the rug. You know what I'm saying? When it becomes unuseful, they'll just forget about that whole thing, right? Uh, whiskey in the chat says uh, Elon for VP. Elon, oh boy. Oh boy. That would be, that'd be interesting. <laughs> All right, dudes. Yeah, get some a, hey, whiskey. You never know. You never know. Dude. You never know. Well, I guess you we'll find know. out. I guess he uh, he he said in a I think I seen a clip today that he was thinking about announcing who the VP was in the next couple months. So mm, well, okay. we'll take I'm a we'll take a bet. July. We'll take a bet on it when it gets closer. But Greg, cheers to you, my friend. Chris, All right, cheers, cheers to you. dudes. Thank you guys for being on Patreon and watching us with early access. If you're not, make sure you guys go on and get on Patreon so you yeah. get early access. And there's lots Do of cool it. shit in there. So love you guys. Take care. Later.